So here we have the third and probably the final video on the calendar and alerts system inside PT Distinction. Just want to very quickly show you before we launch or as we launch a little bit more detail about the alerts and just how you put all of the stuff that you have already created on PT Distinction for your clients into the calendar so that they can have it in the schedule. As you've already seen, when you're actually creating it, it's very, very easy to put it in the schedule. However, there's a lot of stuff you will have already created. So I'll just show you that. And um, first of all, the alerts in a little more detail. So you come up and you'll see that I have an alert. And what I have is program health and one client. This is the client that I've been using to set everything up and do all of these videos. So I just click on program health. And what it tells me is a couple of clients have got red. What that means is they are due or overdue a program. Today's date is the 1st of October. So Wednesday the 28th was this guy's last scheduled program. And this one's very out of date, 3rd of August. So it's telling me I need to go in, get their programs sorted because they've got nothing scheduled after those dates. This demo video, it gives me a little yellow, just letting me know that there's a program I need to schedule. It's just coming up. Um, so Thursday the 6th. And today, as I say, is the first. So it's giving me a little warning. You need to pay a bit of attention. Now, the rest of my clients haven't got anything scheduled in. So that's all right. Come down to the alerts and it says, this is my man I've been doing with the videos. 28 unchecked items. So I just click on that and it will take me directly into their activity. I can see that all activity is 28 and then results that I haven't seen are eight. Food diary one, check-ins one, and technique videos 18. You can scroll down and see absolutely everything that they've done. So I might want to view a result. Click on that and it'll bring up the results that have been recorded. I may want to go and have a look at what they've recorded in their food diary. So I just view. Not a lot there, but they have recorded food diary results. Click on back to activity. And keep scrolling down. Perhaps I want to have a look at a technique video. So view what they've done. And you'll see that I've been playing around here, but there is their technique video. You can have a look and give them instant feedback. So I'll just close that down and show you up at the top. You can click on here and send them an email instantly on anything and everything that they've done. So that's how you would give them instant feedback on what they've done. Send them an email, say, well done, brilliant work, or, you know, need to work on your technique with this, etc. If you've got a lot of stuff to look at, you can just select what you want to see. For example, you might just want to see their results. Click on results and all you will see is the results. Here we go. It'll give a slight shading to the ones that you viewed. You might want to check the progress photos. You'll see that they haven't actually put any in. You might want to check their technique videos and up they come. So anything that you wish to check, you can check. Another thing to look at here is the settings. If you only want to be alerted of certain things for certain clients, you can change the settings. So you can change their time zone meaning everything you put in the calendar will go into the calendar at their times rather than your times. The default is your times, but if you want to take that away, you can select their time zone relative to GMT. And you can choose where the check-ins are shown, results update, food diary, adherence chart, progress photos, forms, technique videos. You can choose or not choose whatever you want to be updated of. You may not want to have any updates at all. So just uncheck all and you don't get updates of anything. For now, I'm going to check them all and you can keep really good track of your clients. So default is everything is checked. 
We'll save that. And when you're very happy that you've checked everything and you know what they're up to, you can just click on all. Everything will pop up. You can mark what you like and mark checked as seen. Or to make life very, very easy, just mark all as seen. And you'll see it all get shaded. And unseen activity comes up here as nothing at all. You'll see also at the top program health, they've got a green and OK, which means you've got things scheduled for them. Click on information, it says last scheduled program is Thursday the 20th October. So you know that you've got stuff for a few weeks yet. When you've marked it all as seen, you'll see the little shades. Everything comes in in date and time order. So you don't need to worry about this stuff. You can see that it's all been checked. Anything new will just come up on top of it and will be the first things that you see next time you come in. Now I'll go back into this client's dashboard by clicking on back to client and first of all have a look at when you're in the client dashboard how you get to that activity page you just come up to more click on view activity so that's the other way to go in and view their activity but of course if they have got activity they'll be in the alerts so that's the quickest way to do it when you originally create or add programs assessments coaching and tracking forms and questionnaires emails etc it brings up the schedule you can just pop it straight in there's a video on the blog that shows you how you do this with programs it's really really quick we've set it up to be as efficient as it can possibly be and you'll see it's faster than any other calendar system if you have already created a lot of content and you want to put it into the calendar which will be the situation for a lot of you guys right now what you do for programs you click on the tab so everything you have will still be under the tabs in exactly the same way it always has been for programs click on the programs tab have a look at your program go to edit is the easiest way and what you will find now is there's a little button here schedule click on the schedule you can select which one of the programs from that particular phase or which one of the workouts from that program you want to schedule as you can see in this one i've built three on the same page we'll go with one you choose the date and you choose the time If you want to give them that workout multiple times, which most people will do, we'll do repeating and I want to do every week for, I'm going to do every week for one month. And I'll do the same with all the other programs edits. I'll go to program two. You can see everything else is still filled in. So I'll change the date and I'll put that on Wednesday. Everything else stays as it is. So you just go add. Program three, and I want that to go on Fridays for a month and add. So that is one month's worth of programs, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Put into the schedule if you want to change the sets and reps of any program. For example, you've got your Monday program one on the third. You may want to have the set sets and reps, but the week after you may want them to do more reps so you can just go in and change that and you'll be able to change it for every exercise you've got in the program once you're happy with it you just click on save and then go back so when you've got your schedule all set up click on save and go back to the client you'll see here that those programs have been scheduled in his calendar 10 a.m Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if we go for the next few weeks. You'll see again 10 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that will go for the whole month because we put them in like that. The client or you want to see it, you just click on it and go to view. Now for assessments, coaching, and forms, all I would do is come to add event. Choose the date you want the event. So let's put one tomorrow. Choose the time. 
and select what you want to put on. So it might be an assessment, might be them to view a coaching attachment, might be to fill in a form, update progress on your results tracking sheet or anything else that you want them to do. For now, I will ask my client to view an attachment and you can choose from anything you've got up there. So I've got a number of PDFs, recipes, videos, how to eat vegetables, and then a few test videos. So I'm just gonna chuck in a test video and save it. So that's Sunday the 2nd of October at 11.30. If I go back to the 2nd of October, I will see there is my video in that client's schedule. You can obviously choose a date that you want to see, or you can go straight to today and it will take you to today's week. You can also see the calendar by days or by a week view, entirely up to you. Now it works exactly the same with your groups. So you do everything exactly the same in the groups, except obviously with groups, it goes up to multiple clients at the same time. We'll just go and check on the groups dashboard. If I go to a seven day challenge, go to the dashboard. What I will quickly show you is that it gives you the option to see the calendar by date or see it by days after joining. I've set everything at days after joining so I can have clients join the group whenever I want them to. Once again, you can add events or go into programs, edit them and add. I'll just add an event and I want to select it by days after joining. Eight days after joining for my seven day challenge doesn't make too much sense, but you get the point. And you can choose weeks if you prefer, select your time and select what you want to put in in exactly the same way. So I'll ask them to fill in a form. We'll say the forms I've got, pop up a park you, save it. You can add it to current group members or not. I will just say not for now. And you'll see, there's my park key on day eight. The clients can just click on that and go in to fill it in. Now what happens when you add clients to the group and it's set days after joining, their calendars will automatically be filled in. It will give the automatic dates because it can have dates related to when they join. So I'll just quickly join up a client and show you how that works in the seven day challenge. Select their sex. You can select their time zone or use your time zone for default. If you select theirs, obviously everything with the scheduler will go in their time zone. If you select yours, obviously it will be yours. Add to groups, my seven day challenge. Add it, copy the content to their account and save. Gives you the option to send their login details. I'm gonna say not for now. Then we'll go and find Mr. Test U. Our new client that we've just added and their schedule will pop up. There it is. We've added them today on Saturday, the 1st of October. So that's Saturday, the 1st of October. You'll see that everything has been added to their accounts. Challenge workout one. The time now is 10.30. So I've selected a number of things to go on joining. Viewer welcome video, update progress. Now, if you've got lots of things like this, they can just go to the day view and click on today. And what you see is everything comes up. Fill in form, fill in another form, watch a welcome video, update progress. So all of that stuff goes into their calendar. I probably should have been sensible and scheduled it out a little bit more. And we go back to the week and see that everything's in. We'll go to the next week. So all of the seven day challenge is in. We'll go up, have a look, and their emails will all be in. Just check their emails. And you can see they've got seven days of scheduled emails. That's the way it works. So. I think that covers everything. That's how you put in all of the stuff you've already got. It's how the alerts works. It's how it works for individual clients and how it will auto populate for your groups and whenever you add clients to a group. Hope you absolutely love it. 
what we will do if you've got any questions on this write them down on a piece of paper and what I want to do is a Facebook live showing you this and answering any questions next week so write them down on paper think about your questions have a really good play around and then I will be in touch on Monday with the timing of the Facebook live and we can go through any questions and I'll share my screen show you how it's done